Hello everyone, I'm BadnobiX, and today I'm going to teach you how to do this. It's a little light flicker effect. So it's actually rather simple. So I use the level blueprint for this one, but you don't have to use it. You can use a box trigger and other stuff like that. But this is a really easy one to be able to do. So you just load, go into it, and then event begin play, or on actor begin overlap, if you're using the box trigger, or when you press E when you're close to something. It really depends on what kind of coding you want to use. But then all you really have to do is you drop in a delay. And then the delay will be used to connect to the end delay, which will repeat the entire operation. So what you're going to have is a float in range for the duration. And you'll want to keep the numbers between 0.1 or under, and then the maximum of 0.5. It's better to have it lower for the numbers that aren't the final one. The final one, if you keep it longer, it gives it a nice little uh, lengthy one before it flicks, starts rapidly flickering again. And then uh, to be able to change the material, click the object, and then you can drag it in. Oh, right up here. And you can drag it in, and when it drops, if you're in your blueprint, you'll have your object in there. You'll drag it from the side. And then uh, you'll drag it out, and you'll do set material. And then uh, it'll give you this thing. The element, if you look over here on the right side, there is element 0 and 1. Those are your materials. And then you will change the uh, then you'll change the material to the selected one that you want. I've got an emissive two, which is located right here. If you use emissive one and two, you can switch between them, and it creates the object no longer emissive, and it's switching between the emissive and non-emissive. And if we connect it in between the delays, let's go ahead and get rid of the extra ones. And then once we've connected it on, it goes into toggle visibility. You'll want your light connected to this toggle visibility for the one that's connected to your light. So there's a there's a uh, point light right here, and I have it selected in place right here. And then once you have it set to toggle visibility, you will then connect it to another delay and start restart the process for however many times you want. The more you have, the more like detail you can get with the light flicker. And as long as you keep within the right range, it keeps a nice look to it. You can also use this to have a blinking type of effect, which somebody asked me to actually add that into this. So if I change this to point 0.2 and actually raise the ranges a little bit, you don't actually have to raise them much at all. And it will give us a completely different effect than we had when we started. See, now it's a lot slower, more of a blink rather than a rapid flicker. So if you want your light to blink, this works for it as well. As you know, can notice, you can see the materials changing between emissive and non-emissive as well. So if you tie both of those together with the delay connected to both of them, you have to specifically have both of them selected, like have them both put in between each and every individual delay or it will not work. It will throw it off. So it goes delay material or visibility and the material visibility and then the delay if you do not do it in that or in that set order it will not work but uh that's all you have to do in order to get this to work as i said you could set up a box trigger to be able to do this so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick we can drop in a box trigger right here and then instead of having a event begin play we'll click onto the box trigger right click on active begin overlap and then we will connect it in and what this will allow it to do is as soon as you touch it for the first time it will start working from then on so we click here now boom see it just suddenly started I'll show you again so if we wanted to run around it's not doing anything and then we come over here boom now it's flickering and it will stay flickering from then on out so you can add in a little audio cue then and it'll start flickering if you tie in your audio cue in between the delays, it should work as long as you set up the timing properly. But yeah, that's all you have to do in order to get this to work. I'm going to throw in a little video to show you how it looks if you actually get this working properly. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video and good luck game developing.